going on everybody? It's Titanic Feet Jack and I'm back at you with another video. I'd like to welcome you guys back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at a sneaker that's set to release, I believe, September the 19th, I believe. Yeah, uh, but before we get into that, uh, I need a couple things from you. I need you to hit that like button on today's video. Also, do that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I come back with a new video. Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts on the video and the sneaker itself. And sub up to the channel if you haven't already. And since you're down there looking at the description box, there's a couple links to help you save some money on products like the sneaker cases from Easy Bear. You can use code Titanic Feed Jack just like it is in the description box so you can sell some money on that. Also, get yourself some rejuvenated shoe cleaner to keep all these sneakers clean. Now, today, the sneaker we're going to look at, it did come out in 2005, 2006 time frame. It's a very limited sneaker, and it also was a friends and family sneaker. So, uh, this is the box. You see the box got a three quarter, 25% Nike box. Hmm. Here's the box label. Let you guys read that. I'm gonna read it out loud. It says Air Force One Low QS. Stand for Quick Strike and TS stand for Terror Squad. And the color is white and black. This is a US size 10. Uh, the retail on these was, I believe, 160. Oh, uh, yeah, I think the retail was 160 on here. As you look closer, we got a lot stamp, and you have a gold sticker right there on this lid. This is the paper. It's kind of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like the seal that you would have on a birth certificate. If I see if there's anything extra on here, does it say Terror Squad or something? I do see some writing. It says established in 1982. Not sure what the 1982 stands for, but I'm going to try to find that out for you guys. But you do have that seal on the paper. Also, some regular tissue in here. And man, these things are nice. Let's get them out the box, guys. Here we go, guys. We have the Air Force One Terror Squad. Let me know what you think of this sneaker on the first uh, look on this sneaker. Oh, uh, we just gonna get right into it. Uh, it's made on an all white base, like your uh, traditional white on white Air Forces, but the materials are a little different, a little more quality, a little more premium. There's a nice soft to touch leather on your quarter panel and your toe box with that white leather. You, you can see how good the leather is on the black, on your lace eyelets, your mud guard, the swoosh, and the heel. And you do see that TS embroidered on the lateral heel, which stands for Terror Squad. That's uh, Fat Joe's group that he was rapping with back in the day with him, Big Pun, and all those big guys. Looking at your midsole, you do have a white uh, midsole with black threading going in there. You have white going all the way around there with the black Nike Air or the black Air, I should say, with the lines going all the way around. You got black at the very bottom, which leads to the outsole. Very traditional Air Force One outsole, but around my way, we call these G Nikes. Looking at the heel of the sneaker, you do have an embroidered JC on the heel badge, which stands for Joey Crack, or Jose Cartagena, which is his government name, and more of that nice black leather on that heel, which leads us to the medial side of the sneaker, more of that nice black leather on the heel, the swoosh, the lace eyelets, and going around the mud guard. You have some nice white leather on that quarter panel, you got the white colorway on your midsole with black threading going all the way around and the black line that comes from the other side that starts three quarters of the way down the sneaker. You do have that black midsole at the very bottom that's peeking out and we're gonna roll around 
to the uh, toolbox, you do have an extra set of laces. These come with the white end and also come with an additional pair of black laces. Oh, uh, Carbo Shoe Tree. Haven't seen this in a while. It doesn't say a size, it just say M. I guess M stands for medium. I'm gonna set that there. And here's a look at the toe box. It's a little better level than I'm actually used to seeing on G Nike. So uh so they put a little more I say better materials into these, I guess because it's a collab with Fat Joe and Terror Squad. Then you do have your little Chrome Air Force One label right there. It says Air Force 182. That's what the 1982 stands for on the wrapping. This was the year that the Air Force Ones came out. You can see that black leather tongue is nice, soft, genuine leather. And you have a black woven patch. It says Nike Air Force One on here. Turn around on the back. You got that black leather piping on there. You do have a white sock liner. The sock liner is leather. You have a leather white white sock liner, I should say. And uh, let's see, get you guys a look at that size of tag. Gonna try to read this for you. US size 10 production date. It's January the 4th of 2023 to February 22nd of 2023. So about a month and a half of production with these. Sizing on these, I believe g Nice go true to size, guys. I don't wear these, so I'm going to give you my best estimation on it. The inserts do not come out. It's glued down. You got the white insert. Black Nike Air branded with a size and tag. This is a size 10. So both sneakers are the same. Got the Terra Squad on the back heel. And the JC, the Joy Crack on the back. So uh, I believe this sneaker is going to release on Sneakers app. Also, it's going to release in boutiques. So, uh, be on the lookout for that. It's gonna come out like the middle of September, September 16th, 19th, somewhere around there. So let me know your thoughts on the Air Force One Quick Strike Terror Squad. Leave that in the comment section if you're gonna go for these. And I'm gonna end the video. Like I always tell you guys, if you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker because you never know when it will be your turn to need help getting the sneaker. I'm Titanic Feet Jack, signing out.